Hello all. Welcome to the learning series on SOC, SIEM, and SOAR tutorial series. In this video, we shall understand the comparison between SIEM and SOAR technologies. Let's get started. Gartner has estimated that by 2022, 30% of security teams with more than 5 people will be leveraging SOAR products in some capacity. That makes evaluating SOAR platforms even more important. The cybersecurity world is full of acronyms. The latest entrant into progression of technologies is the Security Orchestration, Automation and Response Platform, a platform that vendors promise will decrease incident response time improve visibility into the security function and make security teams' lives easier. Most businesses already leverage SIEM technology as a core component of their security operations centers. SIEMs serve as a centralized collection point for the millions of log entries generated each day by applications, servers, endpoints, network devices and other log sources. The SIEM processes these logs and then SIEM correlates bits of related security information arriving from different sources, to provide analysts with a comprehensive view into the security posture of the enterprise. Once a SIEM detects a potential security incident, it may then alert administrators to the activity or trigger an automated response. Security teams often manage playbooks that contain a set of response actions to carry out when the SIEM triggers alerts on certain types of security incidents. Well, security orchestration, automation and response platforms take the response capabilities of a SIEM to the next level. Source solutions supplement, rather than replace, the SIEM. However some key differences between the two are. SIEM were not created to unify people, processes and technologies within a security operations center. SIEM and SOAR both can collect logs directly. SIEM runs correlation on all logs, to generate alerts. SOAR doesn't. SOAR is capable of third-party sources such as threat intelligence services, and other external data source. SIEM can't. SOAR can integrate with other security and networking products. SIEM can't. However, SIEM and SOAR works better together. SIEM collects logs from network devices and runs correlations on it to generate alerts. L1 analyst evaluates these alerts to evaluate them to see which real incident are and which are false positives. These activities may take hours to complete before analyst can move on to the deep intellectual incident response. SOAR systems promise to automate this routine work by interacting with other security technologies to automatically carry out the initial steps of incident response. At a L1 analyst level, after receiving an alert from the SIEM, the SOAR platform automates alert enrichment and evaluation process, creating incident and removes false positives. It then creates and assigns a ticket in the incident tracking system. This way SOAR automates L1 activities. Whereas, for a L2 analyst level, L2 analyst receives initial alert along with other information from internal and external sources. SOAR can automate initial steps by using digital playbooks. Digital playbooks are steps to be followed to address an incident. In this way, SOAR technology saves precious response time, and serves as a cybersecurity accelerator. I hope the content was useful. Please subscribe to the channel to stay on top of all the upcoming videos. Thank you.